G'day everyone, Jason then with an early Friday fishing report brought to you by Fisherman's Warehouse Marine, Sweet Street at Warner's Bay. And of course the earliness to it is because we're trying to enjoy the sun in a bit of blue sky. Southwest uh, winds this weekend, Saturday, Sunday. Certainly showers Saturday lingering into Sunday. So a little bit of prompting to try to get out there and get out on the lake and take advantage of it. That sea is really backed off offshore as well. Uh, a lot of real milkiness to the water. We had a lot of sea this week and on, certainly on Tuesday, I'll give you a good example, I went for a fish Tuesday afternoon, uh, come down the channel as I was heading down into Belmont Bay there and it was so cloudy the water, um, just so much sediment getting stirred up off the coast but salmon everywhere through the channel. Uh, some reports from last night, Ronnie Owens, good mate of ours, uh, fished over in Salts Bay. A couple of really nice tailor, good red, true valley, but some monster salmon happening over at Salt Spays. When they run fishes with bait, I was using lures on, on Tuesday afternoon. In fact, I was using um, some little pro, pro lure garfish surface lures, throwing them out, banging them through, and the salmon were just all over anything that hit the water, just engulfing them. Um, and there was a real variant in the size, guys, too. A lot of fish, say two, two and a half kilo, but there were some real big donkeys there, those three, three and a half kilo ones, and just kept on toweling us up. Uh, some big, big salmon right throughout the channel and into the lake itself. Uh, managed to get four tailor down near the bay, um, threw a little one back, but the size had come off. I fished, for example, Saturday afternoon in some terrible winds and got some protection around there, around the corner at Mark's Point and got some smoke and tailor. Uh, some of those fish up to around, but six, best one was 62 and a half accurately, but some big, big tailor. And I've seen a lot of posts this week, the same scenario, real blender fish as well. Some real big fish, those, you know, 55s to 60s, maybe a bit better, but then some smaller fish with sting with them. And that's what we're seeing, a real blender fish. A lot of birds early in the week working down towards Summerland Point over towards Sunshine Spot. My good mate Lucas Stansfield early, a couple of days in a row down there, lots of birds working. So we're starting to see a lot more bait basically get pushed around into the lake and it's getting pushed down south. When, obviously in Belmont Bay, not a lot of bird life. There wasn't a lot of bird life out in the middle over towards Coal Point where a lot of the guys have been catching them in the deep water as well. This is where that we talk about those deep tail dancers or any of those laws, particularly the Rapala tail dancers, have the ability to get down that nine meters. But again, you know, vibing the area or trolling, and some of the old school trolling too, guys, garfish or trolling with pilchards with some of those big weighted sinkers and just putting it out on conventional hand lines, working very, very well. But it's, we've sort of been blessed this year. I reckon it's been one of the better tailor seasons in the lake, even though offshore and on the beaches, as we've spoke, have been very lacklustre, the lake itself has really just presented itself perfectly. A lot of good flatheads, but Justin Woolley there yesterday and his mate, a dozen flathead there, just working some of those bait schools, and that has continued. Everyone is doing exactly the same thing. This flathead winter season is just continuing through, and we're seeing great catches of flathead, some very nice mulloway, and of course, some really nice kings in the lake still because we're basically still getting a few of those squid, but there's been that real, you know, a lot of bait, a lot of tailor, a lot of salmon, so everything's working around. We're seeing a few reds trailing in on the bottom as well, but the lake, guys, if you can get out this afternoon, have a look at it behind me here, looks great. Tomorrow is a nor'wester, so you've got a nice low, oh, sorry, a high tide tomorrow morning early, and around about quarter to eight on Saturday, it's half past eight, and a one o'clock low tomorrow, being Friday, of course, and it's around almost two o'clock, coming through on Saturday. But that latter tide, it, I think you're gonna find that it's just going to just wane away and those showers are gonna come back into it. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got the flu coming on. The man flu is gonna get me again, I can see it. Offshore, once it starts to settle down, and certainly tomorrow will be the, probably the best opportunity to get out there, I think these inshore reds will really be on fire. But if the conditions are right, try to get out wider, guys. Try to fish the farm, maybe down to the Texas. But after those big seasons swell that we've had, no one's really been able to get out there for probably around about a week now. I still think there'll be some big snapper on those wide reefs and certainly some really good fish on those inshore reefs. No doubt still a few trag around, it's not too late. Got a full moon coming through on Saturday night. And of course the equinox 
revolves around, I'm pretty confident it's tomorrow, where we'll basically get to our shortest day of the year, and then suddenly we'll start to get longer as we move back into Christmas. All in all, guys, my voice is just about to go. Uh, I'm going to try to get out there this afternoon, maybe. Uh, my little co-pilot here doesn't, tells me he can't come, but we'll have a bit of a crack. Get out there, enjoy it, try to get out tomorrow. The weekend doesn't look so great, and we'll talk to you next week.